Hey guys, Josh here with Twin Falls Zoo with a species spotlight. Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite animals on the planet, the Gila monster. Oh, he's holding my hand! Gila monsters are part of a family of lizards called Heliderma, which means beaded skin. It's easy to see where they get their name from the bead-like structures that cover their entire body. These structures are actually called osteoderms and they are a piece of bone encased just beneath the skin that function as a piece of armor as well as a way for them to absorb warmth and to help regulate their body temperature. Gila monsters are native to the southwestern United States and are protected across their native range. Gila monsters are carnivores and in the wild they don't encounter food very often, so they store the fat and the nutrients from their food in their tails. Gila monsters are extremely powerful diggers and they spend most of their time burrowed underground. The most notable fact about Gila monsters is that they are a species of lizard that is classified as venomous. They produce a toxin in glands under their lower jaw and when they bite their prey, the venom releases into their saliva and flows into the wound of their prey. While Gila monster venom has been known to be extremely painful, no one has ever died from a Gila monster bite. In fact, their venom has been used for groundbreaking research into diabetes medication. Another fun fact, Gila monsters were actually the inspiration for the character in the movie Godzilla. You can totally see the resemblance here. <coughs> nah, I totally made that last part up, but it seems like it could be true. I'm Josh with Twin Falls Zoo. Thanks for watching our Species Spotlight on the Evil Monster. If there's someone else you'd like to see, leave it in the comments.